For seven years, he dedicated himself to the United States Navy. We conclude our series on the top ten most stressful jobs with number one, enlisted military, sailor Jacob Getke. My, my thought process behind it is, well, what can I do to uh, take the next step, you know, because I wasn't making enough to go to college. Getke decided to tell his family after signing his papers, and soon after, his journey began. Uh, when you're first enlisted, uh, you, you take the oath, and uh, you, you basically, from then on, uh, boot camp uh, is your basic training. Basic training, Getke says, is the beginning. It's where you learn how to live a military life. You know, you take tests in boot camp, you take written exams, on, uh, and it's about military bearing, too. After boot camp and IT training school, Getke reported to the USS Ronald Reagan in San Diego for duty. Uh, they gave me those orders, and I did a little research, and I got to the ship, and everything was very new. Uh, but also very familiar to, not, not to my A school really, to, to boot camp. When Getke boarded the Reagan, he wasn't only reporting for duty, he was also reporting to his new home. My bed was on the ship, my shower was on the ship, my work was on the ship, so I, I live, breathe, and, you know, bathe the Reagan, Ronald Reagan. Being in IT, Getke was directly responsible for communications on board the ship. Via email, radio, uh, phones, and, and, and such, uh, was managed by uh, the information technology branch. More specifically, he managed the network side, meaning he managed servers that controlled all web and email communications. You're doing tactical missions, and the mission could uh, succeed or fail based on uh, if those systems, those key systems are up. Jobs do vary in the military, and depending on your branch and position, stresses are different, but Getke says there's at least one stress everyone has in common. You're under, you're under contract. You're, you're serving. So uh, when they say service, it is a service, and it's not like you can quit. Danger is everywhere, and most of the time that danger comes during a mission. Smack dab in the middle of Operation Tomodachi is what they ended up calling it with the earthquake in 2011 that hit Japan and tsunami that uh, knocked out the Fukushima plant. We were directly involved with that on the USS Ronald Reagan. Getting off the ship when possible, exploring and unwinding with co-workers are other ways get key relieved of stress. He says getting a care package in the mail also helped. Uh, yeah, I was overjoyed when I got those, you know, care packages and things uh, because it just, you know, it's a taste of freedom. It's a taste of, uh, you know, civilian life. Of course, being able to go home was Getke's number one stress relief. He says it was the little things that made going home the best. Um, I love spending time with my family. Uh, I always felt so loved <laughs> when I was in, at home. My mom, <laughs> she, she'd make me omelets, you know, for breakfast. I love that because I, I never got omelets on the ship. Getting married, re-enlisting after serving on the Reagan, and deciding to move back to Minnesota, life never stops. And this is the same for both sides. Getke says he has many missing memories. When I look at my family and I look at everything that's going on, my brain's trying to catch up. Uh, you know, to understand, you know, to truly be involved. And when Getke officially was discharged, a new challenge moved in. So in civilian world, they look at, you know, you're, okay, you're an E5 in the military. What does that mean to me? Uh, that's all it says on, you know, your DD-214 is, oh, well, you're an E5. I know what you got paid. Uh, I don't know exactly what you did. Okay, it says IT, but mm, what does that even mean in the Navy? What did you do in the Navy? So uh, I'm, right now I'm building on top of my uh, experience with education. In the end, Getke says he has no regrets. You know, by far the, the best choice I've ever made in my life. Chrissy Getke, WJON.